arrival in the United States waters, the mighty French battleship Richelieu proceeds to an American Navy yard for refitting and repair. First of more than 50 French warships to be equipped to fight against the Axis. At another American port, the cruiser Montcalm puts in for repairs and supplies. Built in 1936, she'll soon be back in action. Vice Admiral Raymond Fenard, heading the French Naval Commission to the United States, salutes his flag as he comes to place every available warship flying the tricolor on the side of the United Nations. In New York City, French sailors are introduced to free American refreshments. Quite a treat. Now, parading up Broadway, men of the French Navy return New York's hospitality with a gala review. French Blue Jackets and Marines, escorted by units of British and Americans, giving the big city the war's first view of America's traditional allies, now marching shoulder to shoulder in the common cause. Along the line of march, shouts of Vive la France tell these Frenchmen that the United Nations are with them in their fight for liberty. In front of New York's historic city hall, Mayor LaGuardia, with high-ranking French and United States dignitaries, officially welcomes the French Navy men to America. Fighting men of an awakened France, sworn to free their native land. One of the dramatic scenes of the war, the rebirth of French naval might the beginning of France's return to her traditional position among the great nations of the world. Mm -hmm.